Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It's Larimo22. And uh, this week, uh, actually, it's been pretty busy. I uh, just got back from Connecticut. And I was up there for, I think, about six days. Made a really quick trip. But one of the things I got to do when I was up there, I went to a place called Willimantic uh, Brewing Company. It's in Connecticut. And I think uh, Yukon is around there or, or something. I think there was a football game going on when we were up there. So uh, uh, their food was excellent. And I had one of their beers. And it was fantastic. It was called a Derailed Male IPA. The brewery is actually in an old uh, post office up there. And I went, I went there about maybe 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago, when they first opened. And uh, I can't re really remember the beers. I was in the craft beer back then. But I had a good time. Uh, I was there with some uh, friends and everything, but it was a good time. And I went up there with uh, my cohort in crime, uh, Dave, and uh, we had a uh, we had a good meal, had a, a good IPA, and uh, it was good. So uh, that's what I did uh, this past week or past weekend, and I uh, got home on Sunday, uh, travel day from hell, but uh, I don't have to tell you guys about that. So uh, I am drinking right now a red IPA. Uh, this red IPA I made, it's, uh, I usually rate, make a red ale, and what I did was I used the same, uh, same grain, same uh, grain bill, uh, but I hopped it up. So it's my 3C uh, red IPA. It's pretty good. So, what's on the agenda for the weekend? Uh, since I wasn't home last week, it didn't do anything uh, beer-wise. My Arrogant Bastard is, uh, I got a clip on that, uh, that's upstairs, and uh, I think I might be transferring tomorrow into secondary. Uh, but this weekend, it's a busy, busy week for uh, Laramo 22. Uh, Friday, I'm taking off, uh, taking vacation day, and I'm going to have a, uh, I am going to do an all green. I think I'm going to do my red, my red ale. So, uh, cause I need, I need another, another staple beer for the, uh, for the house. And then, uh, I got some friends or actually my wife has some friends that are coming over that are interested in brewing. So I am getting an extract brew. It's probably going to be like a fat tire clone. And we are doing that on Friday. They don't get here till like 7:30, So all grain, I'd be up until like 1:30. So I'm not doing that. So I'm probably going to do that. Uh, uh, I'm excited about them coming over. I gotta clean up my uh, my man cave here, but uh, uh, excited about that. Then on uh, Saturday, uh, Chris White from White Labs is coming, and uh, my homebrew club slash homebrew store, Homebrew USA in Norfolk, we are having a, a big brew day right outside the uh, right outside the store. So they're setting up a couple big like 20 by 20 tents and everything, and we're we'll pull up. I just back my truck up and offload my stuff, and uh, I am pretty full on beer here, so uh, I'm going to make uh, my homebrew store, I'm going to make them a beer for them, so I think I'm going to make the red ale, but I'm going to make it an extract brew, because I want to I wanna have time that I can talk to Chris and see what's going on. I'm going to probably uh, videotape some of it, so hopefully I'll have some clips uh, next week for homebrew, uh, for homebrew Wednesday. So not too much else is going on. I've got some beer mail and I got it from the Clements Homebrew. And uh, I tell you what, uh, it's gonna be, I'm gonna show the clip at the end and uh, they sent some really good beer and I'm very excited about it. Uh, I thank you guys uh, tremendously. They, uh, really good beers. Or they look like really good beers. I have never tried any of them. So totally stoked about uh, what you guys sent me. So, oh, what else is going on? I don't think there's anything really. Except me drinking beer. Uh, not really much going on. Oh, actually, uh, just looked over. I saw my grain mill. I am, this is going to be Friday. I'm going to be uh, uh, using my grain mill for the first time. So, kind of excited about that. Kind of excited, nervous, whatever. And, uh. What else? 
not much to, that's going on. But I want you guys uh, to know that I'm, I think, I think it wanted me, I, I got three weeks vacation coming up, so I'm kind of stoked about that. And hopefully I'll be brewing. So, so anyways, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next week and I got some clips on uh, some other stuff I'm not sure if I got uh, I just drank some uh, a porch porter so I'm not sure I'm gonna include that in uh, this uh, in today's Humber Wednesday but I might add it next week so uh, you guys take care and I'll see you guys next week peace hey everybody Larimo 22 and we are we're up in my beer room it's one of my spare bedrooms up in the up in the house and uh wanted to show you what i got last week i got it last wednesday but i wasn't here so it's uh it's beer mail and i know who sent it to me it was uh clement's homebrew so oh no i had it open but look what we got Peanuts. Can you believe this stuff? Oh, I hate peanuts. But when there's a nice little package in there, let's see what we got here. I guess I should have opened this stuff up. <laughs> Why don't we just wait? I'll uh, pause here and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I open up the, the box. I've got five beers and they look pretty good. So here I'm gonna unwrap it in front of you here. And first one. Was the Laurel, Laurelwood, the red, free range red ale. I think that they did a review on this. And uh, Laurel Woods, one of their uh, local breweries, and uh, that looks freaking awesome. I'm a red fan, so that's uh, that's good. And next one, Hog Heaven, the dry hop barley wine style ale. Wow, that's look, that looks really good, and it's a cool bottle too. So I always like cool bottles. <coughs> Oh, just to let you know, there's my arrogant bastard still going, going to town. I think I should be able to transfer it probably tomorrow. Oh, I saw this when I was unwrapping them. I've never had this before. I've seen, I've heard so many people talk about this. This is, this is awesome. What a great freaking uh, beer meal. <laughs> I can't, I'm so excited. So, next one, let's see what we got here. Hair of the Dog Brewing Company. Huh, I've never heard of this one. And I'm not sure if you guys reviewed this or not. But it's Hardy Old World Ale. Holy smokies, 10%. Okay, I might have to do a couple of these. And <laughs> And we got one more. Oh. So here's my beer mail. I got two hair of the dogs. One is called Fred. The other one's Adam. I got Pliny the Elder. I got Hog Heaven, the dry hop barley wine. And then I got Laurel Wood, the red ale. So very good beer mail and I uh, appreciate it uh, Clements and I will talk to you guys later and I'll let you guys know how these guys turn out and I'm sure they're good because if you send them to me I know they're good thanks guys Okay, we're popping a uh, porch porter. I have my wife here, Tiffany, <laughs> and Dana. Oh, she's going out the front back door. 
And we are going to taste this. And uh, this was uh, served as a growler, 32 ounce growler at Whole Foods. So I'm kind of uh, excited about trying it. This was a brew that St. George's here in Hampton, Virginia actually made for the uh, for Whole Foods. So they added their own coffee. So let's hear what the pop is. Let's see. Ooh, they're sweet. It actually helped. What, what are you doing? I was trying to make him shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so my wife is going a little bit crazy here with trying to keep the dogs quiet. But you know what? Dogs are dogs. So here we go. You want to pour, grab a glass for me? And we can pour it in there. Tilt. Okay, you can pour it up. Straight up, straight up. Not a bad looking beer. Held the carbonation pretty good for over almost 10 days. Can you grab the other glass for me? Straight. Awesome. Thank you very much, Assistant Tiffany. So, they're pretty good looking beers. Nice and dark. I'm not going to give you a review because I suck at reviewing. So, uh, uh, my friend Dane and I, we're going to have a drink here and uh, I'll get back to you.